To quantize this pattern, it's a two-step process inside of Pro Tools. So I'm going to go back to my Smart Tool here and I'm going to start by just selecting the notes I want to quantize. So I'm pulling on the hi-hats right now and it's very similar to highlighting text. Then I need to go up to Event, Event Operations, and then Quantize. So this is that second step is that I need to have multiple windows open to make this happen in the first place. So the first thing I want to do is select the subdivision to which I want to quantize. And if you're not totally sure what pattern is the right one to pick for what you're playing, 16th note is typically a good place to start. And then down here we have a strength amount, which is an important parameter to adjust. So 100% quantization is gonna sound pretty robotic. Also, if you're an instrumentalist or you recorded these in by playing them on your MIDI controller, you might have a natural kind of vibe or swing to your playing that you wanna preserve, like a pocket. So that's the case for me right now. I, I practice playing a lot, so my setting is usually around 60%, but if you're just getting started, I would, I would suggest trying maybe 85% and seeing how well it does in assisting you of getting these notes in the right places. There's also a swing amount, which a little bit goes a really long way. It's a fun parameter to mess with, but for right now, let's just stick with a subdivision and a strength. So I'm gonna click apply here and you'll see these notes kind of quickly jump just ever so slightly, and they did. And I think I was pretty off on some of these kick and snares as well, so I'm gonna select them all and apply quantization to them as well. Everything jumped around. So I'm going to mute my click track by just selecting M here, and we'll see how grooving it sounds. Awesome. Let's open this back up in the MIDI editor. So depending on how well that quantization process went for you, it may have taken a note and shoved it in the opposite direction of, of where you actually wanted it to be. And if that's the case, you just have to go in by hand sometimes and, and move things around so that they're where you want them to be. You can also click an event into a part of the sequence here. Or if you want to delete one, you can just select it and then press delete on your computer's keyboard.